Oh, it's time to start? Okay, I'm doing it. Chapter 2 of the Chess Super Challenge Blindfold. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Grandmaster and today we will play the part 2 of the Chess Super Challenge. In the last video I managed to beat the computer rated 400 while playing blindfolded. And now we are stepping it up. This time I'm taking a Chesscom computer rated 800 still blindfolded. While I will not be able to see the pieces, you will. In the top right corner of the screen, you will be able to follow the actual moves as they happen on the board. Can I outthink the computer once again? Let's find out. So, oh, Coach Mea, 800 rating in Chesscom from Japan. Wow, it will be not be easy, but let's try my best so i will just remove the pieces and will do blindfold here and save and now the pieces just not in the board it's only in my head so let's do it play with white pieces i will play d4 this time let's see d5 c4 e6 okay i will play knight f3 probably just want to develop some pieces knight f6 i will play knight c3 now develop another knight bishop e7 let's take it c takes d5 e takes d5 and now bishop to g5 developing another bishop and now i'm playing the move e3 while i want just to develop my bishop to d3 he played bishop to d6 wow this interesting move um, I can take the pawn on d5, knight takes d5, bishop takes d8, oh sorry, knight takes, bishop d8, rook takes d8, yeah, it seems good, just taking it, right? h5, oh no, what she's doing, man, what is, what she's doing? I think just knight takes f6, probably should be really great, um, maybe bishop takes f6, you know what, I will take with the knight, right? Knight takes, and now bishop h6. Queen e8. What is this move? I think just bishop d3. Developing a bishop. Bishop g4. Okay, now I really wanted to play knight h4, but now I'm pinned. So let's play the move h3. Asking our bishop just go away. Queen d8 was played. Wow, I'm just taking the bishop, right? She will take it maybe. A6. Okay. I will play the move rook to h5. Just taking the pawn. Rook e8. And now I have a lot of thinking, right? Because how will we manage to bring the checkmate on the board the, fa the fastest way? So let's play bishop c2. I really want to play queen to, to d3. Rook b8. Just queen d3. Bishop b4, king f1. Right, it was a check, and now rook e4, just queen takes e4, f5, just queen takes f5, queen e7, and now the checkmate is coming. Queen h7, in my head, it's a checkmate, but let's see together. Checkmate on the board, I beat Coach Mea from Japan. So let's see what happened in the game. We will have d4, d5, c4 e6 and now knight f3 this is the queen's gambit declined because she didn't take on c4 so knight f6 knight c3 bishop e7 and now the main move as i remember c takes d5 e takes d5 and bishop to g5 as you can see i already developed three pieces in my uh, position so castle and now e3 i really want to play the move bishop d3 queen c2 and uh, short castle of course so bishop d6 was a mistake because now knight takes d5 i recognize this this diagonal is very good for me and after knight takes d5 bishop d8 and bishop before i have like knight d2 or maybe king e2 i'm just winning position because i have queen for two pieces 
So after knight d5, she played the move h5. Very bad move. Just knight takes f6, g takes f6, and now as you can uh, notice, this king is very weak piece. Bishop h h6, rook e8 was the best for her. I'm not sure why she didn't play this one, but she played the move queen e8. And now I didn't want to take this rook immediately because you know I can take it also in the next move. So I just develop another piece, bishop d3, in this very interesting diagonal for me. So bishop g4, h3, and queen d8. I was absolutely, you know, uh, shocked when she played the move queen d8. For example, bishop d7 or bishop f3. Okay, of course it's winning for me, but you know the bishop is under attack. So queen d8. And now h takes g4, a knight a6 she played, and rook takes h5. Just winning absolutely. I have one uh, piece up. I have like, I don't know, three pawns. One, yeah, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, um, yeah, two pawns up, right? So it's just amazing for me. And this rook is under attack, and the king is very weak. So the game is just will be over very soon. Bishop c2. Right away, I want to play queen d3 with queen h7 checkmate. Rook b8 was played, queen d3, bishop b4 check, king f1, just going, rook e4, taking it, taking another one, and queen h7 checkmate because this bishop is controlling the h7 square and this king cannot go anywhere. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And the chapter number three will be just amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm telling you, 1,200? Maybe I will lose. Let's see together. See you soon. Bye-bye.